The following segment is sponsored by Renown. Well, if you perform CPR within the first few minutes of someone having cardiac arrest, you can double, even triple their chances of survival. It's all as simple as uh, something that we have learned about in school, but things have changed up a bit when it comes to CPR. We have got Dr. Troy Wiedenbeck here, cardiologist at Renown, to talk about it. First of all, that's the big question. How do you know when you should go ahead and perform CPR when someone's having cardiac arrest? So cardiac arrest is when there is a disorganized electrical activity of the heart that doesn't allow it to pump blood effectively to any of the body's organs. And the way you can recognize that as a layperson just in the community is someone would, should be unresponsive and you should be unable to feel a pulse either up at the neck or down at the groin area. Okay. And if you can't do that, then, then chances are they are experiencing cardiac arrest. Okay, we all know CPR. You think about it, pumping of the chest, mouth to mouth. That's no longer the case. Things have changed. Tell me about that. So the new recommendations are geared towards making it more available for every bystander to be able to participate in CPR and provide that life-saving upfront treatment. Um, the changes have been the elimination of the mouth-to-mouth -mouth component. It's a big part to eliminate. It is. It's the part that most people have some reservations about as well. Mm -hmm. And now it's hands only. So it's just the chest compressions and they're very similar to the chest compressions that you've known from other CPR classes that you may have taken. The question, when should CPR be performed? Whenever you find somebody unresponsive, wherever it may be that's out of a hospital setting and they do not have a pulse that you can palpate or feel in the neck or the groin area, then you should initiate CPR. Okay, and then when is it timed like, okay, now I need to do mouth to mouth? So the only times you should be, you shouldn't have to ever do mouth to mouth okay. if you're not in a healthcare setting okay. anymore. Hands-only CPR has been shown to be equivalent to mouth-to-mouth -mouth with CPR. Okay, so hands-only, that changes things up. You've trained your mind to think about when to do it. When is, should you do the hands-only? What are some of the basics to it that you should think of? So some of the basics, it's the same sort of chest compressions you would give with mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR, but with hands-only CPR, it's chest compressions just above the sternal bone, at least two inches deep, in a, at about a 100 to 120 beats per minute, which is about the cadence of that song, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Mm -hmm. So if Everybody you can keep that going faster is better in your mind. Okay. You should do it. So there you go. So some of the basics still the same except taking away the mouth to mouth. And if you would like more information on this, take a second look at it. You can always go to bestmedicinenews.org. Thank you so much for being with us. Of course. My pleasure.